Hey there, job seekers! Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the secrets to acing job interviews. Today, we're diving into the treacherous waters of the dreaded question. Tell me about yourself. Now, we all know that this question can make even the most confident candidates break into a cold sweat. But fear not, because we're here to guide you through the worst possible answer you could give. Buckle up! In this video, we're going to dissect the worst interview answer to the tell me about yourself question and show you how to turn it into a winning response. We'll help you highlight your professional accomplishments, showcase your skills, and leave a lasting impression on your interviewer. We'll explore the art of crafting a concise and impactful introduction that grabs the interview's attention from the get-go. No more rambling about your childhood pet or your favorite ice cream flavor. It's time to focus on what truly matters in a job interview, your qualifications, and how you can contribute to the company. Today, we're tackling the dreaded tell me about yourself question. Ah, the question that can induce beads of anxiety even the most self-assured candidates. But fear not, we're here to help you banish that worst interview answer and replace it with a powerful introduction that sets you apart from the competition. Number one. The Life Story Going into excessive detail about your personal life, childhood, or unrelated experiences can be a turn-off for interviewers. Remember, they're looking for relevant information about your professional background. Now folks, we all have fascinating lives, filled with thrilling adventures and heartwarming anecdotes. But let's be real here. Your potential employer doesn't need to know about that time you won the third grade spelling bee or how you want to save the squirrel from a tree. Keep it relevant, people. So, instead of boring your interviewer with your entire life story, let's focus on what really matters, your professional background. They want to know about your skills, experiences, and achievements. Remember, folks, this is not a therapy session or a stand-up comedy show. Save the dramatic monologues for your one-person play and the punchlines for your comedy routine. Keep it professional and concise. Number 2. The Resume Recap Simply reciting your resume or listing your job titles and responsibilities without adding any personal touch or highlighting your achievements can make you come across as robotic and uninteresting. Now folks, we all know that reciting your resume or listing your job titles and responsibilities without any personal touch is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Trust me. You don't want to be that person who puts the Z's in resume recap. So, let's jazz it up a bit. Instead of sounding like a robot, let's add some pizzazz and personality to your job interview. Let's make those hiring managers sit up and take notice. First things first, let's ditch the monotone voice. Spice it up with some enthusiasm. Show them that you're not just a walking resume, but a vibrant and interesting individual. Next, let's sprinkle in some personal touch. Highlight your achievements, not just your job responsibilities. Did you save the company from a coffee shortage crisis? Did you break the record for most office pranks pulled? Let those accomplishments shine. And hey, don't forget to add a pinch of humor. Share a funny anecdote or a quirky story that showcases your personality. Let them see that you're not just a serious professional but someone they'd actually enjoy working with. Number 3. The TMI Too much information Sharing overly personal or sensitive information that is not relevant to the job can make the interviewer uncomfortable and may give the impression that you lack professionalism. Now folks, we all have personal stories and experiences. But when it comes to job interviews, it's important to strike a balance between being open and oversharing. So, how do we avoid the TMI trap? Let's find out. First things first, remember that relevance is key. Before sharing any personal information, ask yourself, does this directly relate to the job I'm applying for? If the answer is no, then it's time to zip those lips. Next, let's talk about professionalism. Sharing overly personal or sensitive information can make the interviewer uncomfortable and give the impression that you lack professionalism. So, keep it classy and focus on your qualifications and skills instead. 
Remember, it's okay to show some personality and connect with the interviewer on a human level. But always keep it professional and relevant. Save the juicy details for your friends and family, not your potential employer. Number 4. The Generic Response Providing a generic and vague answer that doesn't differentiate you from other candidates can make you forgettable. It's important to highlight your unique skills, experiences, and qualities that make you a strong fit for the position. Instead of giving a cookie-cutter response, it's time to highlight your special skills, experiences, and qualities that make you a strong fit for the position. Think about what sets you apart from other candidates. Shine the spotlight on your achievements and accomplishments. Did you lead a successful project? Did you receive any awards or recognition? Let the interviewer know about your standout moments. Don't forget to do your research. Tailor your response to the company and the job description. Highlight how your unique skills and experiences align perfectly with their needs. Be specific and show that you've done your homework. To conclude this video, first and foremost, don't give a lengthy autobiography. The interviewer doesn't need to know every detail of your life story. Instead, focus on the highlights that are relevant to the job you're applying for. Highlight your professional experiences, skills, and achievements that directly relate to the position. Show them why you're the perfect fit for the job. Secondly, avoid sharing personal information that isn't relevant to the job. While it's great to show your personality, keep it professional. The interviewer doesn't need to know about your love for your impressive collection of vintage socks. Stick to the professional side of things and let your qualifications shine. Lastly, don't be too vague or generic. Saying things like, I'm a hard worker or I'm a team player won't make you stand out from the crowd. Instead, provide specific examples that demonstrate your skills and accomplishments. Share stories of how you successfully tackled challenges or contributed to previous projects. Show them that you're not just making empty claims, but that you have the track record to back it up. So, when faced with a tell me about yourself question, remember to keep it concise, relevant, and impactful. Highlight your professional experiences, avoid oversharing personal information, and provide specific examples that showcase your skills and achievements. With these tips in your arsenal, you'll be ready to impress any interviewer and set yourself apart from the competition. And that, my fellow job seekers, is how you tackle the dreaded tell me about yourself question. Remember, this is your golden opportunity to shine brighter than a disco ball at a 70s party. So, when they ask you to spill the beans about yourself, don't hold back. Showcase your relevant experiences, skills, and achievements like a peacock showing off its fabulous feathers. But hey, let's keep it concise and engaging, shall we? Let your personality shine through, but don't go overboard. You want to leave the interviewer wanting more, like a cliffhanger in the binge-worthy TV series. They'll be begging for the next episode, which in this case is the rest of your interview. So, my fellow job seekers, Go out there and conquer that tell-me-about-yourself question like the confident, talented, and slightly quirky individual that you are. Remember, you're not just another candidate. You're a superstar in the making. That's a wrap, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss an episode of our job-seeking adventures. Until next time! Keep dazzling those interviewers with your unique charm and skills. Good luck out there.